What's going on guys? So this is gonna be a pretty quick video. In front of you, you were looking at one of the dumbest things I have ever seen and I just don't understand. So you were looking at, of course, three five gallon fuel containers in front of you. I have one from a company called VP Racing. I have one from a company called Terra Pump. And then I have another one from, I don't know who that one's from, but I've had that one forever. That's the more conventional one that probably most people have in their garage. And of course I use these for the same thing that just about anybody else who has five gallon containers for fuel use them for, to be able to top off my mowers, to be able to top off my weed eaters, to be able to do different things that need regular gas gasoline. I have yellow versions of these for diesel fuel. So in front of me, these are all red and they are all listed as five gallon fuel cans, fuel totes, fuel containers, whatever you want to call them. And I got this one from my channel sponsor, eTrailer.com, because it came with a really cool electric pump that goes into it and allows you to use this as a really cool electric gas dispenser. And it comes in really handy. But what I've learned to like about this more than anything else is just the high quality build of the actual container itself. And I was going to reach out and find out if they actually just sold the container because the thing is absolutely awesome. It's significantly thicker material than these standard gas totes that you see. It is really convenient because I can unscrew that top cap and literally pour it in super quickly into my mowers. And I just love it. That thing is coming so handy it fills up really really quick it's just super convenient and I wanted to get more of them so the closest thing I could find in terms of just a gas can without any type of a pump were these VP racing five gallon fuel cans and I was like man these things look really nice shoot the lids even look pretty much the same so I read the reviews had really good reviews I read the description on Amazon because that's where I purchased them and they were talking about the history of VP racing fuel cans that the the founder wanted to have a better product they're made out of polyethylene which is what your typical fuel cans are made out of and I ordered two of them and I'm like these things are going to be awesome I can finally replace these because they start to leak around the handle they're super difficult to work sometimes and these have always been a messy solution and I do have some other fuel cans which I also have and they're great but again I really really like the convenience of this right here. So these are my other fuel cans, right? I have SureFlow fuel cans, and I have a standard fuel can, again, like the other one over here. But I have four of these SureFlow, and they're nice. They do work pretty well, but sometimes when you're using that little spout to fill up a larger tank, it takes a long time. And I like to just be able to take that huge gas cap off of my Skag and my Toro and just be able to dump fuel in. And you can't do that quite as conveniently with this. This is much more mess free than your traditional fuel can, but it still pumps out or pours out kind of slow. So I wanted a better solution for that. And that's the reason why I picked up those other two fuel cans. So back to this VP racing fuel can that just arrived today. You see it has the vent on it. It has a really, really nice large opening at the top. It's just really cool, and it's built really well. It's super thick, and it's made out of polyethylene, which is what your typical fuel cans are made out of. And it has this little label that is wrapped around it when you get it. So let's read this together, and you'll see why this is so dumb. So this is a multi-purpose utility jug. It's great for use with non-potable water, automotive industrial fluids, deer corn, milo, and oats. Uh, feed pellets, bird seed, rock salt, oil, and liquid absorbents, herbicides and insecticides, animal attractants. It's multi-purpose utility drugs for, for your outdoor uses. It features an ergonomic contoured handle and a bottom grip for easily pouring. Now, read this part right here. This container is solely intended for use with non-fuel, non-kerosene products and must not be used to transport fuel or kerosene. For storage and transport of recyclable automotive fluids, non-potable water, feed, attractants, and other outdoor products. That makes no freaking sense to me. These are, I mean, at least from the description on Amazon, from what people have said about them, super high quality five gallon fuel cans, gasoline cans. And on the label, it specifically says this container is solely intended for use with non-fuel or non-kerosene products. And you can't transport fuel or kerosene with these. I don't get it. Someone help me with this. Am I, am I on something here? Is something wrong? Am I, am I not reading this correctly? 
Why on earth would they make a fuel can that they advertise as a fuel can? They give a backstory about how the, the founder designed this because he wanted something more convenient. They put a great spout on it. It looks very similar to these, these Terra Pump fuel cans, super thick material, polyethylene construction. It's red, but you're not supposed to put gasoline inside of it. That confuses the heck out of me. I will probably reach out to them because I need to find out what on earth they are talking about and why they're making that claim when clearly this is a five-gallon fuel can. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you use these and if you put fuel in them, let me know. I'd love to know how they're holding up. And I don't want to deal with a situation like you deal with these cheap ones where the seam right there starts failing and gasoline starts bubbling out. And I don't know if I'm going to have that problem with this one because... There's a reason why they don't want you to put gasoline inside of here, and I don't know what it is, considering it has a vent, and, you know, by all accounts, it should be a very good fuel can, but apparently not. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.